Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a little cool project I have done in the recent couple of days. Uh, it's a Spotify client uh, clone uh, in open source, uh, created and will be open source in the re next coming days. Uh, you have made sense that Spotify has become very sluggy and slow for someone and uh, it's some kind can take a couple of seconds to open the artist page and I think if uh, I, I love the client before 0.8x uh, that was created uh, before Spotify introduced it to apps but from it's as of today as the funk uh, so if you see here my clue 9 so I have uh, uh, the code name is liberal uh, after a political party in Sweden how are, who are good for liberation, libraries. Uh, this is looks like this. Uh, this is like a kind of cross uh, between the old uh, school Spotify client from 2009 with the, uh, the, the modern day design. So if you see here, uh, it's go very fast here. It is in beta and you can, uh, you see, Place opens instantly, and what the full suit code was that is going very, very rapid here. Uh, when I go back, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and when I go back here, uh, it goes open instantly here. And you see, it doesn't flash or anything, it's just cleaning. Uh, and uh, of course, it is copy skinned uh, with another thing, but the core thing is that uh, it's a cool because it's like it's theme for Spotify which are very uh, similar to the older clients uh, but that was very straightforward and uh, clutter free uh, now Spotify has become so much uh, of the dirty uh, codes and uh, it's very very massive app uh, but uh, I haven't been I have tried to down this uh, for a long time ago and tested more approaches uh, such as uh, Red Gears, uh, Angular, I tried to make it in uh, some other frameworks, but uh, uh, the final product was made in uh, web components because it's very, very cool. That makes it possible, it makes it fast because uh, it's very low footprint, no uh, overhead of external uh, JS library. It's just a clean um, thing. And you see here uh, the loading of the uh, Everything goes very very fast. Uh, I can if you go here to my profile, uh, on my other profile, you can see it loads instantly. New log. If you go here, Spotify user Alexander Shellius, it takes oh, one half second more. Uh, this because I'm using this official Spotify API for a connection and. Uh, uh, until recently you couldn't um, start and stop playback uh, so now I can um, start playback here from directly from my client here but uh, you need to have the Spotify client open because it utilizes the Spotify connect endpoint so it's just a little cheap in here so the client doesn't uh, play the song anyway but uh, the cool thing is that the Spotify client is very, very straightforward. You don't need to wait for a thing. And I'm planning to implement some cool features I, I, re I really wish Spotify had from the beginning. Uh, I'm really, really glad to be able to finish this project. And uh, this is uh, my own personal world first solo hack hackathon I have now. Uh, so as you see, if you remember Spotify from 2009, you may get the deja vu now because it's very, very uh, not black. And I, I love that design before Spotify made it black and uh, like it's bloated. And I really hate the flat design trend. But I'm trying to combine the two worlds in some kind of parallel world uh, approach where I uh, make the client cool. Of course, this skin could be changed, I separate it out. Uh, uh, the reviews in our own CSS library, CSS, and another theme called Obama, which are the representative theme. It's our 
because Obama won the election and Spotify has become big. So uh, it's just kind of the physical mentions here in my memory. But as you see, this is a really cool client and I'm really glad to be able to finish this off. And as you see, uh, it should work here, yes. And I don't have any sound now because uh, it will be a copyright uh, infringement as you try and make a sound uh, in the video. So, But if you see here, if I change the track, it changes in my two, it's follow. You see, it's following the playback because I have a, a listener who are going um, in the um, event loop and uh, making a periodical calling of the thing here. Uh, uh, I'm studying back and developer at Learning as uh, today, uh, but I'm really interested in to, to uh, do my front end development and I have created this app in this kind of approach both in Rackis, compile and build grunt and I also created with uh, standalone the uh, low footprint run on uh, overhead uh, 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 web components. I think web components is the future because I really go, want to go back to to the core basic of web development. Uh, it should be more like Visual Basic Notes, this kind of messy app, uh, grant and pre-compile VS uh, transpiling and so it's just terrible. I had to wait 30 seconds before it's actually updated my page after I write, rewrite the code. It's just, just terrible. I, uh, I really I really hope is that 7 gets traction now and the merge update so we can get past this terrible hell of uh, web developer things that pre-compile VS because it's just terrible. I think web us will be web assembly will be a really great thing because we can incorporate so much other kind of languages from the software development life cycle. Thanks for watching and follow my channel.